say something ignorant. Ignorant. <laughs> So I'm here working in Yuzinki, doing all the slogging work, scaling, measuring the lengths and diameters of the trees. And so I'm picking up the brush to keep it clean around here. So today's a nice day and we got a lot of progress done yesterday and today. Hey Elijah, how old are you today? 22. How about 2010? <laughs> <laughs> so that was a big momentum day, huh? 1010. Jer, come on, take a picture with me. I'll take one with you. I am. I'm going to be as obnoxious as possible. Oh, you got it. Hey, Elijah. Hey, Elijah. Birthday to you. My lungs are big enough to blow up that many. Here we go. You can do it. My you be able to, you don't blow. <laughs> That's a lot of candles though. Oh, come on. Oh. Make a wish. Mm. Got it? Okay. Come true. So this is where I'm staying in Yuzinki. I got a kitchen over here, a table where I write at during the evenings, and the couch where I sleep on. Of course I got my luggage here with my safety gear, my hard helmet, and my banana box which I house my food. And that's about it. So enjoying the day off right now. Today's a Monday. We get every Monday off over here at the Alaska Wood Products. So I'm going to enjoy it and then work another six days. I've worked two days so far, so not too much days so far, but another weekend should be good. I'm not looking for the rain and the cold weather though, but I'll see how it goes. So my day off I decided to go check out the lake over here near the airport where there's a trail here made by deer and it's very picturesque with moss and green shrubbery. I was just walking down this trail which was made by animals and I came across this way and I saw some beavers have been trying to cut down this tree and they were actually successful at cutting down this tree. So it's quite interesting what I found here. The trees over here all have this moss growing on their branches. Stew ingredients. Stew ingredients? Yeah, I need two more. What kind of rabbit? Oh, it's an arctic hare. Oh, snowshoe nice. hair, I mean, not snowshoe hair. Snowshoe hair. Oh, that's good. The little guy is in the sky before he knew what happened, so. Oh, really? That's the way we like it. Good. So you gotta find one more. Yeah, a couple more. Okay. They're made to be taken apart. It's like God meant for them to be eaten by everything. Oh, man. <laughs> so they're pretty easy to shuck, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Get the fur up above the first joint. Hmm. Both legs. Oh yeah. Don't want to go too low because we get fur all over the hindquarters. I'm gonna sit at home picking all that off. Before you can... can you make uh, rabbit furs? Yeah, but the work is 
it's a lot of effort to get one of these little furs tanned. Hmm. Some people do it, you know, for arts and crafts and things like that, but uh, it's oh, yeah. so much work to get one one hide done that it isn't really worth it. And if you're thinking about trying to extract monetary value, sell the pelt or something like that, yeah, you know, maybe four dollars if you're lucky. Oh, really? So you know, after so a fox's pelt is more valuable, huh? Yeah, they're. I think you can get about seventy-five dollars for a good quality pelt nowadays. Yeah. For a fox. Hmm. Huh. Okay, you now I'm kind of getting hair all over. I prefer to get males because one male can get a lot of females pregnant. I don't know if you've never done this before. Yeah, what is it? That's the the uh, bladder, the pee sack. If you if you rupture that, get any on the meat, it ruins the meat. It ruins the meat. Yeah. So, That's a bladder, huh? Yeah, it's got that rank until you reach the spine there. Mm -hmm. Flip them around this direction. Cut across the back. You see where the silver skin ends there. Oh yeah. Cut. Cut across there. And then just hear that crack. That's the spine. Yeah. Now you should be able to separate it. Huh. Sometimes you're stubborn. Man. Get this one. There we go. That's that it. Up, that upper end there. Yeah. No meat on it. No meat. Just sinew, tendon, a little bit of muscle. Huh. If you take it home, you'll just wind up with a bunch of bone and a lot of wasted time. So what I do is I do a meal sharing program. Every time I get a rabbit, I like to take it and set the upper half in a conspicuous place. Ugh, you were in. So what do you take? Just the just, legs? Just this. That's just the legs the, and 90, backbone? 90% 90 of the meat is on, in, from that rib down. Oh, okay. That's about it. Yeah, and then the rest you can leave it, like I say, in a conspicuous place, and then a fox or owls or something else that would have ate it anyway will get it. Huh. So the meal sharing, revenue sharing program. <laughs> so foxes like that kind of food? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Fox will come and gobble that up. I found this lake over here, and the beavers use this path get on the land. They go all the way up here. And then we got these lemon kind of mice. And they got this trail down here below. It's kind of like a tunnel. Over here, I found the beaver dam. That's either Nick or Greg taking off full power to the wall as they accelerate at the new Yuzinki Airport. Here I am hiking in the woods of Alaska with the Alaskan look and discovering Spruce Island which is quite small but it's possible to get lost in these woods. I found an old quad trail that I'm following up. And it hasn't been used for many years. Here comes Servanair to Yuzinki.